Hi, I'm Minister Michael Scott, and I've been healed from disappointment and regret. My whole life I kind of dealt with inconsistencies, and not that because I wanted to be inconsistent, but it's just one of those things that kind of happened. And I realized I struggled over the years with pornography. I struggled with people with time, with keeping promises, and never understood where it come from because it wasn't my heart. And it wasn't until, I wanna say a few weeks back, I was laying in the bed with my wife and I just woke up on a Sunday and I uttered the words, I quit. And I've never said that before. The only struggle I had was um, telling Tamalia. And so I remembered it was during Minister's Month and Minister Orlando and Minister Hassan was up to minister and I promised them that I would be there. And to be honest, if it wasn't for my promise to them, I wouldn't have showed up. I remember showing up that Sunday, Minister Orlando was preaching and his word just beat me up and it took me to the altar. And I remember being at the altar and dad started to pray over me. Son, where you are right now, he, meant, he uttered the words, don't be disappointed. God is not disappointed in you. And he started to encourage me and I hadn't spoke to anybody about it. And that's when it hit me like, whoa, disappointed. And later that Monday, mom did an empowerment and it was regret, but it was a replay. And actually, according to her, it was the wrong replay, but it was a replay I needed to hear. And when I heard the words regret, I started to think that I've been walking delivered, but not healed. And I start to reflect over my life that I've been dealing with the fruit of my issues and not the root of it. And the fruit of it was the pornography. The fruit of it was the inconsistencies. And we've been praying those, I've been delivered from those things. But the root of what I've been going through is disappointment. And it was the regret. And because I dealt with those things, I started to become the disappointer. And I started to carry regrets. And I never, and I realized I wasn't healed from those things. But it was at that moment at the altar when dad prayed for me that I realized that I was pruning what I was going through, just cutting these things off. Sometimes when you cut things off, they grow back even more and they grow back even with better fruit. So the things I was cutting off was growing back and attacking me more. Once I realized that, I started to pray. I started to pray against the, the root of that thing. I started to pray away disappointment. I started to pray away regret. And then slowly those urges I started to have that I would have even in my marriage um, were going away. I didn't have that urge to deal with pornography or even sit myself down because that, that thing was causing me not to read at night. The moment I knew I was healed is not only when Dr. Coffey prayed over me or when mom started talking about regret, the moment I knew I was healed was when those two things started to resonate with what I was going through and I had to admit out loud that Lord, I'm delivered but unhealed and I had to go back and open up those wounds and I had to pray disappointment out of my life. I had to pray regret out of my life. And I had to, and because I cut it off from the root, I wasn't worried about being inconsistent. I wasn't worried about pornography. I wasn't worried about infidelity. I wasn't worried about uh, guilt. I, I was able to be free to focus on ministry. I was able to be free from those things. And then God also showed me, son, it was about you, but it wasn't about you. Now I am, I can show my scars. These are the things I can minister about. God showed me these are part of my ministry. This is a part of my ministry and where he's called me to be. So if I can encourage someone, don't get caught up on what's going on. Take that time and pause and go past the situation and look at what could have stemmed from it. And don't be afraid to address that thing and call it out before God. If I didn't call out disappointment, if I didn't call out regret, I'll still be battling in those areas that God has healed me and delivered me from. Healing is for real.